So I just finished renovating my living room, but I have a few blank spots on my walls like this spot right here that could really use a piece of art. Now I could just go out and buy something, but instead I'm going to make it myself. Now full disclosure, I do belong to the Federation of Canadian Artists, but I usually make things like landscapes and trees. So today I'm going to try something very different. I'm just going to make a simple abstract painting and all I'm going to use is my wife's pie server. What are you going to use now? Nothing. First thing I'm going to do here is paint the sides of the canvas black. I know I'm cheating a little here by using a roller, but I'm only going to use it for the sides and for my initial base coat. From there I use frog tape, which I think is awesome, and I cover up the sides. This is going to make things a lot easier when your painting is finished and all you have to do is peel off the tape to reveal the nice black edges. So for the paint here I'm just going to use some semi-gloss latex paint. And I'm going to use the exact same type of paint for all the different colors. Now I've chosen my color palette to be grey, white, orange and black. And I chose that based on these throw pillows that my wife chose for our new sofa. The colors are going to tie in together. And as the designer I know likes to say, they quote, speak the same language. Now the technique here is to pour a little bit of paint onto the pie server and start smearing it on the canvas. You don't have to press down too hard, you're just trying to get the canvas covered with your chosen colors. We're going to be doing multiple layers in order to build up the texture, and this takes a bit of patience, but it's not difficult by any means. I chose this particular design based on a concrete building I saw, or I don't know, maybe it was a photo, I can't really remember. But anyways, I saw this and I thought it was cool. And it was a concrete wall that had been painted over a few times, over what I would say many years. And the paint had been worn away in many sections. So this design represents a small part of that concrete wall. I'm adding a bit of black here for some depth and I'm going to go over it with some grey but I don't want to completely cover the black, I just want to gently mix it in together. Now I'm just going to keep going mixing in a bit more of the white and the orange and then I'm going to let the painting completely dry before I continue. Okay it's been a few hours, the painting's completely cured, so now I'm going to start adding a bit more colour that's going to sit right on top of what I've already created. Okay, here I'm going to take a blow dryer and dry the white paint before I continue on. This way the white won't blend in with the new paint I'm about to put over top of it. Instead I'll be able to glide my pie server over it with the orange and grey and just have bits and pieces of the white poke through.
And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the black. And there we go. We just have to let all this dry and then we can peel off the tape on the sides. So when you pull off the tape, there might be a few little tiny spots you'll have to touch up with a small brush and some black paint, but it depends how much of a perfectionist you are because these spots are really, really small. So the last thing we need to do before we hang our painting is sign the bottom. And I like to put a piece of tape just so I have a line to go off of to make sure that my signature is straight. All right, so now I have the final product hanging on my wall and I gotta say, I really like the way this turned out. What do you think, honey? I love it. Can you please make a small one for my room? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think this video was awesome. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!